what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um you guys in this video i'm going to simply show you how i get more views to my videos um if you've been following me for a while i i i put a lot of video on youtube right and that's kind of where i parked my video for the past my videos for the past year and a half depending on when you're watching this you know um I, I I really really went all in and started putting up a ton of videos in 2019, um, into 2020, which is where we're at now. Um, and I would park those videos on YouTube, right? I started seeing this YouTube income, and I'm like, damn, that's cool. Let me just do more of it. And 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 I was just the type of person where I'm like, man, why would I put that video anywhere else when I can put it on YouTube and actually make an income from it? So that's kind of been my mentality and my strategy right for the past you know almost year now just going all in with youtube but now what i'm gonna be doing is putting more video on other platforms like actually parking it on that platform um because i have an audience over there so taking that same video uploading it to youtube and if that content is relevant i'm going to also upload it to Facebook. Now, what I've been doing is I've been uploading it to YouTube and then sharing it to all these other, other platforms. So I'll upload it to YouTube and share it to Facebook. I'll share it to Pinterest. I'll share it to LinkedIn. I'll share it to Twitter, right? I'm sharing the YouTube link. And although that's cool, it's kind of, it's, it's actually better to park that video on that platform. Now, you only want to do that if the, if, if those followers are actually your ideal client, right? So depending on what you're, you know, what business you're building, depending if you're a local business owner, um, if your followers, if your audience are ideal to your product or services, then parking that video on that specific platform could be good. And that's what I'm going to start doing. And that, again, that's something that I, I, I did not do. Like if you come to my business page, um, all these videos, except for with the exception of, of like literally just a couple um and today's video is going to be based on one of those couples but it's this one right here for example i posted this one 15 hours ago and so again rather than taking it to youtube and then sharing the youtube link i simply uploaded it here but what i'm also but but again what i'm saying is that i'm also going to be doing that for linkedin so if you have if you have an audience that is relevant to what you're saying park it on that platform okay um so this is a video that i simply uploaded but if you look at any other video and that's the thing about your your um your your post on your facebook business page let me just bring that up real quick your post posting on your business page is not going to do anything for you right it's it's just not like it's it's just not because facebook only shows it to a very very small percentage of your total like count like over here on my on my business page i have 10,000 likes but the engagement on organic posting is horrible and and i think it's actually because of because i'm sharing a youtube link and so again that that is all part of my you know testing here is the fact that because I'm sharing a YouTube link, Facebook isn't showing it to as many people, right? Because it's, it's, it's a Facebook link. I mean, it's a YouTube link. So when you share a YouTube link on Facebook or when you share a YouTube link on LinkedIn or, 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 or Twitter or um, um, LinkedIn, you're taking that click off of that platform. So therefore that platform isn't going to show you as much love. They're not going to, they're not going to, they're not going to um, organically show it to, to, it, to, to, to its full potential because what you're doing is you're sharing a YouTube link, trying to get people off of LinkedIn to now go to YouTube, right? So it, it's just kind of common sense on why my post do not get that much engagement my my youtube links i should say my youtube links because again facebook they're like dude why do we want to show this to all your 10,000 people when all you're going to do is take them off of facebook and send them to, send them to youtube right so so that's what i've been doing i've been testing this you know for the past few months and 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 i don't know man i i, I really just don't think it, it gets it yeah if you can look at the engagement it doesn't get as much engagement at all because again facebook is 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 just being tight they're not showing it they're not showing it to 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 as many people at all 
Um, so organic posting, and even if this wasn't a YouTube video, let me also throw this out there. Even if that wasn't a YouTube video and I was just simply organic posting, the majority of the 10,000 wouldn't be seen in it either because again, that's organic. Facebook, on your Facebook business page, the engagement, the organic engagement is freaking horrible. Facebook is literally forcing you to run ads. If you're a business owner and you have a Facebook business page and you're over here trying to post organically, I'm telling you why the engagement isn't there because Facebook's not showing it. They're, push, they're pushing you to run ads on it. So if you're really a true business owner, you should be running ads on any of these posts, okay? So that's why I tell, when, I, when I'm consulting with small business owners, I'm like, man, stop posting organically. Like, like your, your, your 300 likes that you have on your Facebook business page, stop posting organically. Facebook is not showing it to all those people. And if, and if you're a local business owner, and those 300 likes are people on your personal Facebook page. And if your friends on your personal Facebook page live all across the country, that's the reason why your business isn't growing either. Because if you think your organic post is going to get you an ROI, it's absolutely not. It's absolutely not. The people who like your page are all across the country. And again, Facebook only shows it to a very small percentage. I heard it was 1%. 1% of your like count will see that post. Um, but again, in this case, with it being a YouTube link, I think it's even less than 1%. I think Facebook's not even shown it to any of, any of these people. You know, so, so long story short, what I started doing literally just 15 hours ago is I'm like, dude, let me start talking to this specific audience. Let me start talking to this specific platform. And let me take a handful of, the, of these videos and park them there. So I'm going to be parking my videos on my Facebook business page and also parking my videos on LinkedIn. Um, now, again, these will be, these will be different videos because I'm, I'm, I'm talking to a specific audience with these specific videos. My YouTube videos here are more general um, for, for everyone to kind of get value from. But um, in this case, I'm talking to a specific audience and that's who I am connected with you know, especially on Facebook. So they're going to get that native video. They're going to get that uploaded video and, and, and we'll see if it gets more engagement, which I, which I'm pretty sure it, it will, it will. But at the same time, Facebook wants you to run an ad on it. So, so I'm not going to just rely on, on just posting organically at all, even though I'm putting the video over here, I still have to run ads. Like I for sure have to run ads on these videos um, to really, really, have it hit its full potential. Okay. Um, so here's what I'm going to do though. In this case, I just, I just put out this video, um, a few, a few hours ago and I want to try to get some engagement to it. Right. So one way I'm going to do it without having to run an ad is I'm going to send an email. I'm going to send an email to a handful of people on specific list and drive that click to this video on Facebook, okay? So normally, if you're on any of my list, I'll, I'll drive you to my YouTube video, um, and, and, and that's what I do 99% of the time. Like if I send an email out, I'll, 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 I'll drive that click to my YouTube video um, on YouTube, right? Or on a, on a page, like on a Kartra page. Like for example, over here on my pages, like let's just look at what I normally do. What I normally do is I'll send an email and when that person clicks and the whole you know, purpose of the email is to get them to watch a video, right? If I just released a video, um, I'm emailing my list about it, I'm fired up about it and, 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 and I want them to watch it, right? 99% of the time, that's a YouTube video, but the YouTube video is parked on a Kartra page. So I, I'll, I'll, ho I'll host the video on a Kartra page, okay? And the reason why I do it that way and not sending them from the email directly to YouTube is for many, well, not many, but a few reasons. Reason number one is so I can Facebook pixel them. If I send them straight to YouTube, I can't track that. I could track the click. I can look at my analytics inside of my email autoresponder, and I, and I know who opened up the email. I know who clicked. But after that, I can't track those people on YouTube. So with this, what I can do is I can Facebook pixel them, and I can track those page views. So, so the benefit of that is now I have that visit i have that activity in a custom audience and i can leverage that leverage that custom audience in the future to run facebook ads right i can target all these people who landed on this specific page because these people are on a very specific 
um, um, they're in a very specific custom audience and that's all tracked through Facebook. That's my pixel. That's why I send them to a page and not directly to YouTube. Okay. But the benefit again is the fact that because it's a YouTube video, I get the view out of it. Um, ads run on it right so i'm able to, to to still benefit on the back end from it being a youtube video and and now me you know being able to build up my ad money with youtube and that that's another reason and and then and then another reason is the fact that if i sent them straight or that's another benefit I, that's a benefit i should say the fact that i that that ads can still run it's a youtube video and boom it's it's right here part um but I keep their attention. I keep their attention on this one page, right? They're not on YouTube watching, you know, the Kardashians all of a sudden. They're not on YouTube all of a sudden watching a Kanye West interview, right? So their attention is 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 focused on this on this one page, and that that's another reason why I do it this way. And then the the last reason is the call to action. So whatever I'm saying in the video, there's a call to action at the bottom. So now I could put a link in the description of this of of a YouTube video, right? Like I could put any kind of call to action in the description of, of a YouTube video, but in this case, I can specifically talk to that audience in this video and say, hey, and by the way, click the link below to activate your 14 day trial, then import your share code and everything is listed below. So I can keep it clean without having to put all the crap that I normally put in my description of my YouTube videos. I just keep it clean all on one page with call to actions for everything. and so. That's how I normally send an email um, when it when it pertains to a video that I want people to watch, right? I'll send them to a page and it's my YouTube video. Now, again, in this case, because I just want to want to get the engagement, you know, going, I want to get the algorithm, the Facebook algorithm going. I'm gonna simply send some traffic to this video and and see see how it goes. Okay, so um here's how I'm gonna do it. I am going to um come into my email autoresponder. And if you're new to my channel, man, I, I appreciate you guys. Click like if you get any value out of this specific video, right? If you get any value out of this, freaking please give me a like, man. Um, subscribe to the channel. I'm dropping daily videos on social media marketing, um, Facebook advertising, landing pages, and email automation. And so if you're new, this is the software that I that I've been using for the past couple years since 2018. This one software literally runs my entire online business. I use it to sell digital products. I use it for my email automation. I use it to create all my landing pages and my sales funnels. I use it to host my online course, my membership course. Um, I use it to host my videos. A lot of the videos that are not hosted on YouTube, I'll host it on Kartra. Um, I use it for my online calendar. So that right there complete game changer and then i also i'm also an affiliate so a lot of you affiliates out there that are selling you know random products on amazon or random products on clickbank or jvzoo those are a lot of one off one time commission type of products in the affiliate marketing space what you want to try to do is get around products and services that pay you residually so i've been fired up for the past year or so promoting Kartra as an affiliate because number one, I'm passionate about it because I truly believe every business owner needs it. If you're trying to build anything online, you need Kartra. You need landing pages. You need email automation. You need a freaking online calendar. If you're trying to build an online course and, and, and monetize your knowledge, you need a membership section. All that is inside of Kartra. So I get fired up about it. I use it um, daily. Um, and it's, a, it's, it, it's an affiliate marketing product that pays me residually. So if you're an affiliate marketer, you have to look for products and services that pay you residually, meaning I get a customer one time and I'm paid over and over and over and over for that, for that customer. Example, a cell phone, right? Cell phone companies, they get me on the cell phone one time, but every single month I make a payment. Rent, right? They rent you the property one time, but every single month they're getting paid for it. Residual income. Kartra, these types of services, landing pages, you're paying for it every month. Email automation, you're paying for it every month. So those types of services, especially if I use it, get me fired up to go out there and refer it to others because not only do they do I feel they need it and it can help them with their business, but at the same time, the company is going to pay me every single month for that account. And those dollars add up 
really, really fast when you're really, you know, out there referring it to people. So I use Kartra for everything, man. There's a 14 day trial right below profit with Kartra dot online. Um, so what I, what I'm going to show you right now is the email automation, the, um, the way I broadcast emails as people come to your landing page. Like for example, one link in the description is this one, fbadsforbeginners.com. This is just a simple course that I'm putting together, teaching people, you know, the basics of, of Facebook advertising, right? I've been running Facebook ads for the past four years since 2016. I've um, been running them for, for, for small business owners. Um, and I really feel I have the basics down. I really feel that I have, I have a good amount of knowledge when it comes to Facebook advertising. So I want to help people. I want to help the beginner. I want to help someone who's just starting out, um, and, and not sell some crazy expensive, crazy overwhelming course, just sell something, you know, low ticket that can bring value to the, to the beginner. So, but what I'm saying is that any landing page that you go to, I don't care what it is, any landing page, when you click on that button and you enter your name and email, you're now on an email list, okay? So let's come up here. Let's go over here to My Communications. Right when you land on a page and you opt in, you're on what, what any email you know, autoresponder would call a list. That's one thing, right? You're on a list, okay? Um, that list is also, or not, it's not required, but if you're a good marketer, which you should be, right? that list should also be tied to a sequence. Your sequence is your autoresponder, okay? Some people call it an autoresponder, some people call it a drip system. The email autoresponder is, is the automated emails that are going to follow. So the moment someone comes and opts in, they enter their name and email, they'll receive an email right away. Tomorrow, they, they, they may receive another one. Two days later, they receive another one. Day later, they receive another one. You can control that. You can set the days. You can set the amount of emails. You control that. That is your setup. That is a sequence. So in my, in my case, when you opt into any of, my, any of my landing pages, I'll have a handful of emails that are already preset, ready to go out. That's my sequence, okay? Now, in this case, whenever I wake up and I'm like, damn, that's a good idea. Whenever you have these one-off random ideas, that's when you can send out a broadcast. Today, I woke up and I'm like, dude, let me drive some traffic to that video. Let me, let me send it to a handful of lists that I have and let me see if I can get some more people to view it, right? And that was a random thought that I had literally an hour ago and I'm like, let me just record and show you guys how I do it. And that's a broadcast. So broadcasts are one-off emails that you can send to people who are on a list um, and that's just a one-time email, right? And if that list is tied to a sequence, then that list will continue to receive whatever automated emails you have set up. That does not interfere with your broadcast, right? So I can send out a broadcast to whoever, whenever I want. Um, that's a one, one-time email. So here's what I do. Click on broadcast, and then I'm going to come over here, click on the, on the green uh, square. And this one's going to be um, broadcast name, more views. And you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to just go more views and then I'm going to send it to, um, um, actually I'm going to just put it under and, and it, it doesn't necessarily have to go into a category, especially if it's more general and you're going to send it to multiple lists that are different, which is what I'm going to do with this one. Normally, if I'm, if I'm sending it to just my, if this was a broadcast email that I wanted to send just to my clients, then I would just go, you know, put it in that category. But this is just categorizing everything to make it simple for you, but it's not, you know, mandatory. Um, but this one's going to go to a few different lists. So I might just keep it general and I might just put no category. Let's just, let's just put no category in particular. Okay. So here's the setup. Here's what we do. Um, we're going to go through this five step or six step, six step process here. We're going to send by email and the email is, and it's going to come from, let's, let's bring it, let's, let's, um, because it's going to go to different people on different lists in different businesses. I'm going to send it to, I'm going to send it from, I'll just send it from this one because this is the reply and the from email that, you know, obviously shows up when they look at the email so I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I'll just, I'll send it from that one. That's fine. Okay. Save and next. And then the recipients. So now who do I want to send it to? I want to send it to people who are subscribed to 
all these different lists. So I'll choose which ones. Um, I'll send it to this one. And then you can go and or, right? And or. So what I'm going to do, they're either subscribed to this one or they're subscribed to a different one, right? Don't do don't do and because that will that will throw everything off. Do or, okay? They're subscribed to this one or they're subscribed to this one. Add or they're subscribed to Let's go with this one. And the blocked, that means some leads might be blocked because of a number of reasons. They flagged your communications as spam or their email bounced. Okay, so that's the blocked and that's fine. So subscribe to that one. Actually, no, not the students, not the students. My bad, not the students. Or subscribe to it's actually the other one not students registered okay yeah it's that one okay cool so or subscribe to that one okay perfect or they're subscribed to um web class open that's only this one okay or they're subscribed to um, not the clients Core students didn't finish web class free book customers. Um, let's go um, this one as well. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. So these are the people 390. Um, these are the ones that I'm sending it to. And I'm going to go save and next. Okay, single email. And this is the way it's laid out. So now, now I can write out my email. I'm going to keep it simple. What I normally do is I go advanced. And I already have a, a, a template saved. So I'll go down to my templates and I'll just use a template that I already have saved, um, which will be, let's go with, let's just go with this one. Okay. So what you want to do is, and, and I'm very big on consistency right like as far as like branding as far as the color on your pages as far as the footer on your pages as far as the template in your emails you want to try to keep everything consistent like don't send me to a landing page and it's purple and green and then when i click and i enter my name and email you send me to a thank you page which is hot pink and orange like don't don't throw me off like that like you want to try to keep this is all part of branding like this is basic branding Keep your colors, keep your font, keep your templates, keep your footer, keep your header, keep all that stuff the same. Keep it consistent um, because that little stuff goes a long ways in your branding, right? So I use one template for all my emails. I'll create one template and then I'll come down here and save it and I'll just use that one over and over and over. And all I'll do is I'll just, and really what I'm saving is I'm really just saving the footer because I'm going to change out the image. I'm going to change out the text. But at the same time, these, these icons are already set. So every email, I want those icons to be there. And every email, I don't want to have to keep resetting them, right? So it just saves me a ton of time. I just save a template and just use it over and over and over. And, and, and mainly it's because of these, these social media icons. So what I'll do is I'm going to make a quick image. I'm going to write out the text. Um, and then I'm going to link this video okay and i'll show you how i do all that so let's close this out let me close this out and then so here's what i'm going to do in this one um and then I'll, and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go i'm going to click back i'm going to go to dynamic variables i'm going to use their first name i'm going to copy that and i'm going to go i'm going to go hey hey john i just posted this video on Facebook. Okay. So I just posted this video on Facebook and then what I'll do is I'll just write out some basic text. Let's um, go down. So let's get rid of that. Hey, hey John. Um, here's a video that 
I feel can Okay, so just wrote out a quick email, you guys, um, and here's what I'm going to do. I am going to link it, and I'm also going to change out this image, and I'm going to link the image as well. So right here, I'm going to simply watch now. We'll bold it. We'll change the color, and I always change the color, color to, to the blue, right? So I'll change it to that blue, um, and then I'll hyperlink it. So I'm going to hyperlink it to the actual video, which is over here. And what I want to do is I don't want to send them to this page, right? I'm on the home tab. I don't want to send them here. I want to click on the video. I want to open up the video. And this is, this is where I'm going to send them. Okay. So I'm going to send them straight to this, to this link up here. And I, and I don't want this, this model equals admin. I don't want that part. So let me make sure that this is the correct link. You always want to double check these links, you guys. Perfect. So that's the link right there. Okay, cool. So it sends them straight to that link right there. Perfect. Okay. So this is where I want to send them. I want to send them straight here. And that's the link right there. And you always want to open it up. Double click it so you make sure you get the HTTPS, okay? Get the full URL, okay, when you're, when you're hyperlinking. So there's that. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to paste it in right there. And I'm going to hit OK. So now if they click that, it takes them straight to that page. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Canva. And I'm going to make a simple image for that email. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I'll just use this one. And I'll, um, and I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I'm going to call this link customization. Okay, so we'll do link customization. And, um, what I'll do is I'll just simply, I'll just simply put the Facebook, the Facebook image. Um, I'll use this one. Okay, cool. So I'll put this up here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do now. So I got that image. I'm going to download it real quick. Okay, so I got that, got that. So now let's get out of Canva. I'm going to take that image. And I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to replace this. But here's what I'm going to also do. I'm going to link it. So if they click on that image, they're going straight to the Facebook video page. Okay, so I'm going to replace it with this image right here. Okay, and we're good. Icons are good. Image is good. Image is linked. Link, hyperlinked. Watch now. Here's a video. Okay, no matter what time, this is what I call step one. Um, in fact, let me link this as well. I'm going to link this, is what I call step one. Let's bold that. Let's change the color. And then I'm going to hyperlink it. Okay, cool. So let's link that. Bam. This is what I call step one link custom. Okay, so here's a video that I can that here's a video that I feel can bring you a ton of value no matter what, no matter what type. Always want to proofread it. No matter what type of business you're building, branding is everything. And unless you've been living under a rock, social media branding is what matters today. This is what I call step one. Link customization and basic social media branding goes a long, goes, goes a long way, especially when most of us on social media don't even know each other. Do this to your links today and do this to your links today. Um, do this to your links today and do this to your links today. Do this in your links today. Watch now. Chat soon, and then there's that. Okay, perfect. So what I can do is I can send a test email, um, 
or, or I can just save and next. And that's what I'll do. I'll just save and next. Hey, Jack, I just posted this video on Facebook. Okay, save and next. Let's go to the next step. Okay, automation, don't need that right now. I'm going to send now. I can schedule for later. I can save it as a draft and, and work on it later. But I'm going to just send now. Send now, save and next, yes. And that's it, you guys. That's how you send out a broadcast email. Powerful, super effective, and super, super easy. Now, what I can also do is look at this. We'll just give it a few seconds, right? Give it a few seconds. Um, those emails are going out instantly. Um, and what I can do is I can come over here and I can go to analytics and I can take a look at my broadcast. That's why I wanted to put it in, in a category so I can, I can find it easily, right? But um, that one didn't go into a category and that's fine. I'll still find it. Um, but I can look at the analytics on, a, on leads. I can look at analytics on a list. I can look at analytics on broadcast or a sequence, right? So in this case, let's go to broadcast. Now, it's only been a few seconds, but let's see if anybody's opened it. So if I go um, all categories, I'll go no, no category because that's what I put it under. I'll go, um, let's see, what did I name it? I named it um, video views. Is that what I named it? Yeah, more views, more views right there. That's it right there. And then I can go today. Look at that, man. 20 people have already opened it. Look at that. And it will even tell me if people unsubscribed. Like it'll tell me how many unsubscribed. It'll tell me how many opened. It'll tell me how many people clicked, right? If I'm selling something, if that was a link to get them to buy something, that amount or the quantity, I should say, would have been under goals because the goal was to get them to buy, right? And that would have showed, and then it would have showed me my revenue right there. So this stuff right here, you guys, is super ninja, super effective, and super super easy to use. That's how I send out broadcast emails. Um, and that right there will even tell me the percentage. Five point three percent, you know, opened it up so far. That was like literally in ten seconds, man. So it's super important, you guys, when you're building a business online. Email automation is very very important. You're driving people to a landing page, and this, this applies for anything. It doesn't matter what type of business you're in, whatever business you're in. If you're driving traffic to a landing page and asking for someone's name and email, that name and email goes on to a list. That list better be tied to an email sequence, okay? And that sequence better be nurturing that list, okay? There better be a handful of emails that are set up nurturing that list. And what I mean by nurturing that list is staying top of mind, constantly emailing them. Now, not bugging them, not sending them a bunch of bullshit and, and trying to always get them to buy something. I hate emails like that. Don't be that person. Don't be that person that's always trying to pitch something. Bring value, educate people. Like in this case, I'm not selling anything. I'm just sharing a video where on that video, I'm actually dropping some bombs and I really believe it can bring value to most people that are on that list. So, so am I selling something in it? No, I'm just educating. Now, when I go and send out another email, <clears throat> I could be selling something on that email and that's fine. So you want to mix it up. Sell value, sell value, sell value, offer value, offer value, offer value. And, and, that's, and when, when you can set up a handful of emails in a sequence and have all that automated, that's when you're leveraging technology because you don't want to be in here every day send, sending a broadcast. Like, I don't want to be doing this like at all. Like I'll send out a broadcast every now and then whenever I have a random idea and that's fine. And, and, and you mix in the broadcast with the automated sequences that are already going out. That's when you're nurturing a list. That's when you're staying top of mind. That's when you're bringing value to your list. That's when people are, are excited to receive your emails and you're able to build an audience from it all. Okay, you guys, so that's a broadcast. Again, if you're new to online business, there's a 14-day trial, profitwithcarcher.online. I always tell people, set up a 14-day trial, compare it to all the services you're currently using, the service you have going on for your landing pages, the service you have going on for your email autoresponder, the service you have going on for your membership course or your online calendar. Compare it. Set up a 14-day trial, compare it. And also when you set up a 14 day trial, comment below, reach out to me, let me know you got it activated and I will give you my time for free. We'll jump on a strategy call. I'll walk you through everything. Um, depending on what type of business you're in, I have a ton of funnels that are already done. Um, 
or I can just transfer to you for free. So I would literally give you my time for free. Just set up a 14 day trial and let me help you take it to the next level. All right, guys. So, um, Subscribe if you haven't already, man. If you got value from that, um, drop me a like. Drop me a like, and 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 again, let me know where you're coming from. Let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, guys. See you on the next video. Over now.